Welcome to the Power of Pictures, a Digital Media Academy Certified Schools Flex Learning course. This course explores an important part of literacy, the ways in which we use images to convey meaning. Throughout human history, images have played a major role in the way humans communicate. But today, in a world full of advertising, social media, and memes, images have taken on even greater importance in the ways we share information. We use pictures to sell products, to win elections, to educate, and to entertain. In this course designed for students in grades 1 through 5, students will learn how images are used to tell stories, and then learn basics of photography techniques to begin creating visual narratives themselves. We recommend that you follow these steps to start your preparation for teaching the course. Step 1. Go to the course overview in the Teacher Resource module. Step 2. Review the description and key outcomes for the class. In this case, you'll see the students will learn to take photographs, to edit them online, to use digital tools to create illustrations, to read images, and to create image-based projects. Step 3. In the course overview, you can find the teacher guide and specific teaching resources. It is easiest if you download and print the included teacher guide to assist you in planning for each session of the course. Step 4. Review the materials you will need for the course. You can see here that you will need access to computers or tablets, cameras or phones with cameras, and standard classroom materials like paper and pencils. A core principle of the course is that young people can learn to read the visual world. If they understand it better, they will become better communicators themselves, whether it's choosing powerful images for a presentation or considering how to shoot a video project. This visual literacy is an important element of communicating effectively in modern life. This skill is easily integrated into any course in which students need to do presentations, language arts, science, social studies, arts, etc. Returning to the course modules, we see the students will begin by reading pictures in module 1, by using the familiar format of picture books to analyze the meanings of pictures. In the second module of the course, Students will learn about some basic photography techniques that, when we see them as viewers, we often automatically understand. For example, by photographing something from a low angle, we can emphasize its size and scale. As students learn to recognize these kinds of techniques, they can use them deliberately to tell visual stories themselves. In Module 3, students will learn some basic photo editing techniques, available free on many different websites and on almost all smartphones. Photo editing allows us to deliberately manipulate images, not just for quality, but also to emphasize aspects of an image that help tell our story. In Module 4, students will have the opportunity to use simple online illustration programs to create digital artwork that communicates a simple story. In the final module of the course, students will combine their conceptual understanding and skills practice to undertake a series of challenges involving the meaning of images and specific photographic techniques. Now that we've taken a look at the big picture, let's start digging into the course details. Please proceed to the next video, The Power of Pictures, Module 1.